Well, mold is identifiable usually because of the way it grows, the color of it. You'll see black, you can see blue green, you can see yellow. If you're in a like in a an unfinished area like a basement, crawl space or attic, you may you might be white. All right. So it's something you th see and it has kind of a specific growth pattern and you know, if you can't identify it, but you think you might have it, call a professional, call us, we can come out and tell you if you have it or not. All right? But the first thing you want to do with mold is identify. Maybe you had a leak in your house and a toilet leaked through the ceiling and you got stains on the ceiling below. What well, is that mold? Well, stains by themselves are not mold, but what's on the top side of that drywall? Did it happen over a long period of time? Was it a one-time event? Has it been able to be dried out? All those things go a long way to determine if the mold is able to um, reproduce, if it's ongoing, or if it needs addressed. How do you identify radon gas? There's only one way, and that's testing. All right, a typical radon test is probably going to cost $150 for a short-term test. If you want to go out and buy your own long-term test for a 90-day test, that's probably the best way to do it if you own your own home and it's not in a real estate transaction. So you can go online, you can buy, it's called a long-term radon test, probably 40 bucks, and that'll help you to know what level you have. You can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't sense it. It only affects your lungs. Asbestos. We touched on this earlier. Look in your attic. If you have a house building up until the 50s and 60s, they used vermiculite insulation. It's usually not very deep, maybe three inches, but it's a little granular type, um, a little really lightweight, uh, miniature rock looking <laughs> material. Okay. And that that's a dead giveaway that that likely contains asbestos. Not always, but likely. Also, the wrap on boiler lines and ductwork. So it's usually white and it was used for insulating purposes down there and that can definitely have asbestos. Another common area is uh, floor tile, the uh, nine by nine inch floor tile. 12 by 12s mostly don't have it. Nine by nines mostly do. In fact, it's mostly from the adhesive on those floor tiles.